And we're back on our Omaha Sports Insider Creighton Basketball Preview Special. All right, John, we've broken down the team. We've broken down the schedule. Where do you think Creighton ultimately ends up in conference play and postseason-wise? Yeah, I actually think the Big East coaches nailed it. I was, I thought maybe Creighton might be a little bit lower in the preseason poll from the coaches, but they were fifth, and that's exactly where I think Creighton's going to going to finish. I mean, it's hard to predict at this point that Creighton's going to finish ahead of four teams that return, uh, well, three teams that return the majority of the roster and a team like Villanova that's run the league uh, that's dominated. So I, I'm thinking fifth in the league and an NCAA tournament team. I mean, if you're in the middle of the pack in the Big East and you play the non-conference schedule that Creighton does, um, you're going to be deserving of a spot as long as you take care of business. I think this team has the talent to do so. Two dynamic wing players in Marcus Foster and Kyrie Thomas uh, can lead the way. So yeah, I think that's about where I'd set the expectation for this group. Go ahead, Ben. I'm going to say they finish a little higher because for the past five seasons, they finished a spot or, so, or they've tied or finished higher than yeah. that. So I'm going to go with third. I think they piece it all together. I think Marcus Foster leads the way, and I think they get to the second round of the NCAA tournament nice. this year. I hate to agree with you, Ben, but I'm going to. Yeah, tie for third. I, you know, Greg McDermott always talks about how his team usually finishes better than the projections. I think a tie for third, and then, uh, yeah, second round NCAA tournament appearance. That's going to do it for us on the Jays' preseason special. He's Ben. He's John, I'm Adam, thanks for watching.